Talmud Bavli Gemara Brachot, Perik Shlishi, Daf Chaf Amud Bet, Chapter 3, Page 20b, from, we're actually going to start on the last line of the page before, the Mishnah begins, Nashim Vavdim, Haktanim, Peturim, Mikriyat, Shema, women, slaves and minors are exempt from reciting the Shema, or Minat Filin, and from donning, and from putting on Filin, uh, but they're obligated in prayer. and to put a mezuzah up. Or and to say Birkat Hamazon. Gemara. Kriyat Shema, reciting the Shema. They're exempt from that. Pshita. This is obvious. Mitvat ase shazman gramahu. The recital of Shema is a positive commandment caused by time. Women are exempt from all positive commandments caused by time. Mahu detema, you might have said, Hotil uh, ve'it ba malchut shemaim, since shema includes God's kingship, kamash malan, the Mishnah informs us uh, that despite this, they're exempt. O min hat filin, and they're exempt from tefillin. Pshita, this is obvious. Mahu detema, you might have said, Ho'il, it kash la mezuzah, since tefillin is compared to putting on a, to doing a mezuzah. Kamash uh, Malan, the Mishnah informs us that they're exempt. The chayavin bit but they are obligated in prayer. How is this? Derachamei ninhu, it's because prayer is for mercy. And women need mercy just as much as men. Mahu de Tema, you might have said, Ho'il Uchtiv Ba Sins, with respect to Tfila, it is written, Erev Avokavet Horayim, evening, morning, and afternoon. That's a quote from the Torah. Kemitzvat, Ase Shazman Grama Dame, like a positive command, Tfila is like a positive commandment caused by time. Kamash Malan, the mission informs us they are obligated of Mezuzah. And in Mezuzah, she told it's obvious that they're obligated. Mahu Tatima, you might have said, what you'll read Kash La Talmud Torah, since doing Mezuzah is compared to Torah study. Um, Kamash Malan, the mission informs us that this is not the case. And they are they are obligated. Hamazon, and in Birkat Hamazon, Pshita, this is obvious. Mahu Tatema, you might have said Ho'il Ochtiv. It's written in the Torah Betet Hashem Lachem Be'erev Basalechol Velechem Babaka Lisboa. When in the evening Hashem gives you meat to eat and bread to to satisfy you in the morning. Kemitzvat ase shazman gramal dame. Birkanamzan is like a positive commandment caused by time. Damash malan, Mishnah informs us that women are, are obligated. Ama ravada bar ahava, ravada bar ahava said, Nashim chayavot bikto bekidush hayom devar Torah. Women are obligated by Torah, by Torah law in kidush. That's kidush on Shabbos. That is specifically, I think, Friday night Kiddush. Am I? Why? Mitzvah Taseh Shazman Garamahu. Saying Kiddush is a positive commandment caused by time. Vichol Mitzvah Taseh Shazman Nashim Peturot. And women are exempt from all positive commandments caused by time. Amar Abaye Midravanan. Um... So what this means is they're exempt under Torah law, but obligated under rabbinical law. Amale Rabba, Rabba said to Abaye, V'had v'atorah kama v'rav adabar ahava said, by Torah law. V'od, and furthermore, Ko mitzvot ase nachyevinehu Midrabanan, let us require them rabbinically uh, to do all positive commandments. And we're just going to scroll down. So, 
so we are at so we're at Ella Ella Amar. So it's on the screen at the top. Ela Marava Radrava said, Ama Krazakhovashmo. Scripture states remember, remember Shabbos. And uh, and in Dvarim it says Gad Shamor Shabbos. Koshi Yeshno Bishmira Yeshno Bizhira, whoever is included in guarding Shabbos is also included in remembering it. Vehane Nashe, and hence these women Ha Il Bitnehu. Bishmira, since they're included in guarding Itnehu Bishira, they're also included in remembering. Ama le Ravina le Rabba, Ravina said to Rabba, Nashim bevir katamazon de raisa hu de Rabbanan. Women saying bevir katamazon is a requirement of Torah law or rabbinical law. Lemain if naf kamina, what's the practical difference of of either way? La puke rabbi mide chovatan. It's relevant. A woman uh, is in the is in discharge. Uh, who, so a woman who is eaten with a man can discharge the public of their obligations. In other words, a woman can say it on other people's behalf. E amat de araita. If you say bekaramazon is from Torah law, then she can recite in front of others. Ate doraita de mapik doraita. A biblical obligation is coming and discharging uh, others who also have a biblical obligation. Amat der elai, amat der However, if you say that it is rabbinical obligation, der rabbanan have she'enu mechuya bedavar. Um, then, in effect, it's one who is not obligated in the meta, and it's only a rabbinical obligation. Vechol she'inu mechuyav kadavar, sorry, badavar, and anyone, and anyone who is not obligated to do a certain thing, eno motzieh tarabim yedei chovatan cannot discharge the public of their obligation. Um, so, in other words, uh, someone who's only obligated to do it rabbinically cannot say for someone who's obligated to do it biblically. So, May, what's the answer to the question? Tashma, come learn a proof from Braisa. Be'emet amro, in truth they said, ben mevarech laviv, a son may bless Birkat on behalf of his father. Be'evet mevarech l'rabo, and a servant can bless Bekaramazan on behalf of his master. The Isha Mivarechet Levala and a woman may bless Bekaramazan on behalf of her husband. Aval Amro Chachamim, nevertheless, the sages said, Tavo Meira Ladam Shishtov and Av Mevachin Lo, let a curse come upon, upon, come upon the man that his wife and children bless for him um, because he is so unlearned that he can't say it for himself. Iamat bishlama doiraisa. All is well if you say that a woman's obligation is from the Torah is biblical doiraisa. Ate doiraita my pika doiraita. So someone biblically biblically obligated is coming and discharging on behalf of others who are biblically obligated. Ela i amat derabanan. But if you say that it's rabbinical, ate derabanan my pika doiraita. Rabbinically obligated come and discharge on behalf of. Uh, the biblical, you can't do that. Ule ta emech tamech. But according to your reasoning, how does this explain it? Katan barachiuvahi is a minor who is biblically obligated to recite Bekaramazon. Can he do it on behalf of his father? No, he can't. Ela hacha bemei askinan rada. Um, here, with what case are we dealing? Kegon, she'achal, she'ura, de Rabbanan. Where, for example, 
um, your father or master or husband ate a small amount of food and an amount that only is of a rabbinical obligation to say rabbinically for rabbinically um, uh, that's only a rabbinical obligation uh, to say Amazon and so someone rabbinically obligated can come and discharge and say Amazon for them Darash Rav Avira, Rav Avira expanded the following Zimnin Amala Mishmei de Rabiami. Sometimes he said in the name of Rabiami, Zimnin Amala Mishmei de Rabiasi, and sometimes he said in the name of Rabiasi, Amu Melachi Hasharet, Lifne Akadash Baruchu, the ministering angel said before the Holy One, Blessed is he, Ribonishal Allah, Master of the Universe. It is written in your Torah. He who does not show favor and who does not accept a bribe. But do you not show favor to Jewish people? It is written. I will show you favor. So God said to them. And shall I not show favor to Israel? Shekatati lahim betorah, for I've written for them in the Torah, the Chalta Vesavata Varachet Hashem Elokecha, and you shall eat, be satisfied, and bless Hashem your God. The Hem Medaktikim Alatzmam, yet they are very exacting upon themselves about this law. Ad Kazait, so they said, Bekanamazon, even on the amount of an olive, the ad kebeta, or down to the size of an egg. So if they do a favour for me, so I also do a favour for them. I'm going to scroll down for the Mishnah. So we're at the Mishnah, um, about three quarters of the way down the page. <coughs> Mishnah. Baal Keri Mehar Her Bilibo Abal Keri contemplates in his heart the words of Shema rather than says them aloud. Ve'enu Mevarech, and he need not recite the blessings. Lo Lefanei Avlo Lachreya, neither the, the blessings before Shema or after Shema. Ve'al Hamazon, and in regard to food, Mevarech Lacharav, he recites the blessings. Only that follow the meal. The enum of Rechlefanaf, but he does not recite the blessings that precede the meal. Rabbi Adam, Rabbi Yehuda, Omer, Rabbi Yehuda said, Mevarech Lefnehem, Walachlehem, he recites the blessings that both come before and after both the Shema and the meal. <coughs> Gemara, Amar Ravina, Zot Omeret, this is saying that, Hirhur Kidibor Dame, Thought is equivalent to speech. That is, anyone who needs to say Shema can, does not need to actually have the words coming out of his mouth. For if you suppose um, that thought is not equivalent to speech, Lama Mer Har why, Her, um, why bother? Why should a Balkari contemplate, uh, contemplate the Shema as opposed to saying it? Elamai, so what's the purpose here? Or what 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 do we do here? Here hur kedibodame so thought is actually equivalent to speech. Yotzi bisfatav let him utter the words with his lips. So now there's no difference between the two. Keda kid ash kechan bisinai. Ezra's decree is that is what we find to have occurred at, at Har Sinai. I'll just explain what happened there. When the Torah was given at Sinai, purity from the tumor of, of being a Valkyrie uh, was, uh, was required of Jewish people before saying the Torah words that took place there. So, um, so when Ezra's decree was... Um, was formulated, it restricted 
uh, the actual saying of the words by a Balkari. Rav Chista Amar, <coughs> Rav Chista said, "Here, who la kidibur dami dame thought is not equivalent is is not equivalent to speech." For if you were to suppose that thought is equivalent to speech, Yotzi Bisvatav, let him utter the words with his lips. Elamai, but what is it you propose? Here, who love Kidibor Dame, thought is not equivalent to speech. Lama Mehar Her, why contemplate Shema? Amma Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Elazar said, but Kerry is required to contemplate Shema, Kadesh Elo Yehu Kolo Lamos Kimbo, so that it not be, uh, so it, it doesn't make a case where the whole world is busy saying the Shema, Vehu Yoshevu Vatel, and he's sitting there idle. Venigros Pipirka Achrina, but if he could engage in a mental study of a different section of Shema, so why Shema in particular? Ama Ravada Bar Ahava Ravada Bar Ahava said Bedava Shati Boroskinbo he should do something with the rest of the con- that the rest of the congregation, the rest of the Kihila is involved with.